Well, hello, and thanks for tuning in again today uh, for CASDA Weekly Update. We're coming to you on Monday, May 16th. Uh, it's going to be an interesting week, like most are here. Um, on Wednesday, the 18th, uh, it will be our Scholar Recognition Dinner. This is one of the big service projects that CASDA has historically done. This will be the 30th of the Scholar Recognition Dinners, uh, held at the Marriott this time uh, on Wolf Road. Uh, about 500 people will be in attendance. Uh, the way that this program works, it was set up a long time ago with a business partnership headed by the Golub Corporation and is underwritten by a variety of sponsors. The idea is to salute scholarship. Each high school, for every 100 high school graduates, gets an opportunity to nominate one scholar for this recognition. Uh, 110 high schools participate in this uh, through our membership area in 11 county um, region. The student selected gets to nominate or call attention to the teacher whom he or she felt was most uh, influential and invite them to the dinner along with uh, their parent with the student's parents. Uh, it's a it's a great uh, program and uh, and uh, again it's been run since the 80s and we're very pleased it's one of CASDA's signature events. Uh, today, I wanted to break some ground on a really interesting aspect of our work. In past uh, weeks, I've told you about different uh, activities, um, uh, categories of activities we, in which we engage. Uh, conferences, distance learning, talked a little bit about membership uh, dues and what the benefits are, things of that sort. Today, I, I want to uh, begin to talk about uh, a really important part of our work, which is our, which are our technical assistance projects. Um, a long time ago, uh, the State Education Department uh, not only told uh, schools what to do, uh, but they also provided technical assistance in helping schools and districts to meet the any new requirements. Well. As most of you know, State Ed has gone out of that business over time. BOCES does some of it, but there is a huge need for technical assistance to um, help leaders and teachers throughout the region as they, uh, as they cope with changing circumstances, changing demographics, new state mandates, and the like. Um, we have grown to the point where this is a significant part of our revenue stream, and but it, most importantly, it's a great help uh, to these districts. We run, this year we will have 90 contracts um, that vary in size from, um, from basically one shot, one-time one events to large projects that run, we might enter, enter a relationship for three years uh, and uh, in a multifaceted way with other districts. So they, they vary. Uh, sometimes one faculty member is involved, other times a, a large collaborative team works over time on these. We, ha we have contracts with all the urban systems, Albany, Schenectady, Troy, Amsterdam, Hudson, and the like. We also uh, provide uh, services to suburban districts, uh, North Colony, South Colony, Gilderland, and, and so on. And in addition, rural schools. Uh, we are in Oppenheim, Freda, St. Johnsville, uh, Wheelerville, uh, and um, um, Long Lake up north. And so we provide opportunities for all our members. Uh, we do, uh, we, we offer a variety of services. And if you go on our website, you can actually see when you um, you click on the banner on uh, on the on the bar um, along the top. You'll see services, and if you click on that, you will see that our services that those that we uh, indicate that we can provide um, are broken into five service areas, which correspond to our five functional teams. As you as you know, we have curriculum and instruction, leadership and management. Uh, data and analysis, climate, culture, and uh, community, as well as the struggling learners team. We do a variety of, uh, a wide variety of, um, of work. We, we specialize in external audits and reviews um, that, that are, are needed in schools. 
we do coaching for leaders and teachers. Uh, we implement, we carry out grants of various types. And in the weeks ahead, what I'd like to do is delve deeper into this subject to give you a, a sense of this wide array. And I think what we'll do is in the, each week I'll feature a team and talk about the services and the projects uh, in which they're engaged and those that they offer. So again, thanks for listening. And until next week, I hope you have a great week. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.